They say there are three types of people in this world. Those who make things happen, those who watch things happen, and those who wonder what happened. Sean Combs, otherwise known as P. Diddy, has never been one to watch opportunities pass him by. I'm a real-time visionary. You know, I, I, I move, I market, I dream, I create in real time. But I've gone from a, a dreamer to a realist. And, and it's real out here. At the young age of 12, he began his business day selling newspapers in his neighborhood when he saw a need for it. In 1998, when he became a big fish in the music industry, he had retained the same hustler instinct when he noticed the wave of streetwear fashion taking off. Just because there has been somewhat of a success, I'm not away from the streets, so I'm not away from reality. I'm still a part of what's going on. At the time, Urban minorities weren't exactly feeling represented by the offerings of the big brands that were targeting the urban market. So Puffy, which he was then known as, wasted no time and launched Sean John, his own streetwear-inspired brand at a Las Vegas trade show. Although it was branded as streetwear, it still had a luxurious high-end feel, which would soon come up against the big names in the fashion game. These were things we were wearing in our videos and it just showed the power of how we were able to take music and the authenticity of what was being done in the streets and bringing it to the luxury, at, um, you know, more aspirational but affordable level. Sean John clothing was an instant hit and quickly became a staple in hip hop culture. It was being worn by Hollywood and hip hop royalty and became a must have in wardrobes across America and all across the world shortly after. I felt like fashion Fashion needed some flavor. You know, I felt a lot of people were, were, were taking a backseat and want to try to be extra subdued. Within two years of launching, Sean John was generating more than $200 million per year in revenue, and his items were being carried all over the United States. At its absolute peak, Sean John was generating more than $500 million in revenue per year. Diddy had introduced hip hop to high end fashion on a global scale and was now a certified fashion mogul in his own right. Diddy, the new collection is great. You could call me Sean, Harold. Okay, Sean. Matter of fact, you could call me Sean John. The brand exclusively teamed with Macy's in 2010 and went head to head with powerhouse labels like Calvin Klein and Ralph Lauren. Unable to withstand the intense retail competition, sales started to decline and popularity for celebrity brands had faded away. This made the mogul agree to bring on a partner in 2016. Diddy would end up getting the bad end of the deal and sold a 90% stake in Sean John to the Global Brands Group, a Hong Kong brand management firm. The Harlem native had sold a majority of his company that he had built from the ground up. He had pretty much handed it over and left others in charge of his name and brand. Even though Diddy reportedly collected a healthy $70 million from the deal, this was just a short-term solution, and not a substitute for the long-term jeopardy this was about to put Sean John in. GBG outlined grand plans of turning the hip-hop-inspired brand into a billion-dollar business. Unfortunately, this is far from what happened. The parent company began getting steep in debt that was trickling down and hampering the growth of Sean John. They began scrambling and making bad business decisions in order to boost their profit margins. Diddy's beloved label that he thought was in good hands was now facing Chapter 11 bankruptcy. This turned the relationship between Diddy and GBG sour. When Diddy thought things couldn't get any worse, he discovered that the company had started using deceitful tactics to make money. GBG began collaborating with other labels by using his name without consent and were creating the impression that Diddy was still behind the designs and creations. I'm ready for the ups, the downs, the peaks, the valleys. I'm ready for any type of terrain. When it comes time to doing that deal and really being in that ruthless negotiation, they really can't stomach walking away. I'm really, really crazy. I will walk away. We could be at 43 million. If I want 45 and I'm just deserving of that, and that is the, the rate, you're gonna give me 45 million. And I, and, 
And I want to explain to you why. Because I set the market value for my people. In February 2020, the former Bad Boy CEO wasted no time and sued GBG for $25 million in damages. The week after, he hit them with another lawsuit and got another $60 million. Now in a crippled state, the brand management firm began selling off most of their brands and had put Sean John, which was regarded as the crown jewel of GBG, up for auction. In December 2021, the multi-millionaire battled with 45 other bidders to buy back the brand that he had brought into the fashion world. Diddy submitted an initial bid for $3.3 million that was unsuccessful, but the mogul was determined to regain control of his creation and ended up acquiring it for $7.5 million. Diddy has taken back full ownership of Sean John and saved it from going underwater. Even though the partnership was lucrative at the time, giving away most of the brand was a big mistake on his part. The mogul had manifested the label himself, so only he should have the most control over his direction. Giving away such a huge stake nearly drove his fashion line into the ground. The firm went as far as using the mogul's image as leverage when they got themselves in the deep waters. Yeah, I would say failure happens daily, and, and, and failure prepares you for greatness. I, I say, you know, they knocked me down seven times, I got up eight. It's something that you have to embrace. Nobody is, is not going to have, nobody's going to be clear from that. The brand is now back in the hands of its rightful owner and has returned to its origins. Other classic hip-hop inspired brands from the past are now making a comeback in the fashion world. With Diddy now back in the driver's seat and on his way to being a billionaire, this puts Sean John, a pioneer of urban fashion, in a great position to thrive once again. Mm -hmm.